Hi, and welcome to the Good Hope Hiker channel. If you spend loads of time outside camping, hiking, putting up tents and shelters, transporting stuff, or imitating your favorite superhero, then you need to know knots. In this video, the knots I'm going to show you are the overhand knot, the reef knot, two half hitch knots, clove hitch knot, and the bowline knot. But first, some basic rope terms you need to know. When the rope is crossed over like this, it's called a loop. And when it's in this shape, kind of like a horseshoe, it's called a bite. The overhand knot is one of the most fundamental knots and forms the basis of many others. It can be used to prevent fraying and unraveling of rope ends or even as a safety knot by climbers. You loop the rope right over left and then bring the tail end through the loop before tightening. To create an overhand loop knot, you simply do the same knot as you would with a single length of rope. Be sure to do a thorough test of every knot that you make to be sure that it works before using it. The reef knot, also called a square knot, is very effective for tying two pieces of rope together. The reef knot is very old. The name dates from around the 1700s when it was commonly used to reef sails which is to tie part of the sail down to decrease its effective surface area in strong winds. To produce the knot, you go right over left, and then left over right. When the rope is under tension, the knot will bite on the two ends. The half hitch is a great knot for tying ends off onto pegs and trees when putting up shelters and tents. Let's say this is a peg in the ground. You loop the rope over the peg and then push the tail end back up through the loop. That now produces a half hitch. To fully secure the rope, I make another half hitch by going under the rope and then back through the loop. That now produces a much stronger knot. There are two methods to make the clover hitch knot. The one is going over the object while the other is going around it. To go over an object you produce two loops. First right over left and then another loop also right over left and then left over right overlapping the two loops you then put that over the object and then pull both sides in order to tighten it up if you can't go over an object you can go around it you pass the rope around the object and cross over the main rope you then take the end of the rope and pass that under the cross. The bowline is another ancient knot. It's used to form a fixed loop at the end of a rope. The noose won't slip in on itself and is very easy to untie when not under load. To produce a knot, you take your right hand and twist up to produce a loop. You then take the end of the rope and come up through the loop around the end of the rope and then back down through the loop again. Another method which may be easier for some people is to take the end of the rope and put it between your fore and middle finger. You then cross your hand over the piece of rope and then twist downwards producing a loop. 
you'll find that the loop and the piece of rope going through the loop are now in the correct position. All you need to do now is to go around the piece of rope and back down through the loop to finish the knot off. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and ring the bell for future videos. Happy adventuring and keep safe.